My dog's name is Dublin. He is a Cocker Spaniel. He's seven years old, and I've had him for almost three years. I am a Broadway actress, and he is a big part of the Broadway community and is actually quite a diva. He has a lot of, of fans in the Broadway world. Living in New York can be sort of lonely sometimes. Paul and I have completely different schedules, so we didn't really see each other a lot. And we knew that we just wanted another part of our family to sort of bring us together and have something, just a bundle of joy to come home to. So we went to the Humane Society and met Dublin, and we just fell in love with him immediately, and it feels like he really completed our family. So this is what he does, he just loves to be around us, like he can never get close enough to us, whether it's little nibbles, kisses. <laughs> he loves nibbling his beard. Hugs, you know, he's, there's never any malice, it's just pure happiness. In the morning when Dublin wakes up, he has to eat immediately. Then he likes to go out and have fun out in the park. And then at night, he comes with me to work. I mean, Dublin's basically one of the cast members of the show. He walks right through the stage door. He comes with me when I sign in. He comes straight into my dressing room. There you go. He loves to make himself comfortable on the bed. Hi, Debbie. And this is a spot where he hangs out while I get ready for the show. If we have guests come in, he always greets them and loves saying hello. He makes himself right at home. Like, it feels like he's getting ready for the show. And then I always get my wig on. He has a lot of friends in the wig room, so he loves to go in and say hello. He um, sort of makes everyone smile around the building. It's very placid. We have a few other dressing rooms on the floor, so he goes to greet his fellow castmates whenever he's at the theater, and everybody's always so happy to see him. You gonna have a good day? You gonna have a good night? Every time he steps into the backstage area, into any, anywhere in the theater, there is a sincere joy about seeing the animal and being able to pet and just be in that space for a moment and you, you come up from it different. I feel like he's a great Broadway dog because he knows how to get along with everybody in the cast. He loves everybody and I think uh, it's nice to have that kind of spirit back here. It's so comforting having him with me at the theater because it, it's, it's like a little piece of home at the theater with me. And, and so it, it makes the theater feel like a second home. All right, it's about half hour to showtime and I have to get into my costume and warm up. So we will see you guys after the show at the stage door. See ya. I love all of Lily's posts on Instagram. That's probably how I found out most of it. And I draw these dog pictures, so I made one for Lily. I am so excited to meet her. If I got to meet Dublin tonight, I would feel like passing out. <laughs> I would be so excited to meet Lily in Dublin. Probably cry. At the end of the show, when, when I'm leaving and walking through the stage door, he's right there with me, and he greets his fans. He has fans who ask how he is when he's not there and love seeing him when he is there. Who's here to see Dublin? Broadway is such an incredible community. It's a very tight-knit community. It's a small world, you know, everybody really knows each other and and Dublin really feels like he's a part of it now. I mean, people who aren't even in the same shows know of Dublin. He just fits right in so perfectly. He's not afraid of the lights and the people and the sounds. He was able to just throw himself into this world and this community, and I think he really fits right in. He's just a perfect fit into the world that is Broadway. Great job, Dub. We had a long day. It's time for us to get some rest after meeting all of our fans. Good night.